Hey, how's it going? Um, so we're going to work with how the process on to how to do lab 1.2. And what I'll do is I'll work through the first part. The first part, I want uh, the first one here. So let's kind of work with the interlinear. That's what the, the ESV is the interlinear. I think they have the NIV, which is the interlinear. A uh, couple others, a um, couple ways you can get it interlinear to click there. So, another way, uh, like if I click God here, this will tell me El Elohim. Now, I I can do that, or I can have the in what's called the inline interlinear. I have the manuscript transliterated. And say if I wanted the strong numbers, I can get strong numbers. So it's kind of good here. Um, the 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 great thing for having the strong numbers there is when I hover it over it, it'll give me the strongs of uh, the number. So for instance, let's look at created. We're going to do a Bible word study. We need to find out a couple things. First, uh, we want to find out is it in the qual in the Hebrew qual tense? That's one thing we can find out. Ah, we can easily find that answer when I look down here. And it's, yes, it's in the qual tense. So let's kind of, so that we found out. Um, all right, the other means to create and is only applied to divine creation. The product is something new. So when it means to create, this is all the instances which it means to create. So, um, So 37 out of 41 occurrences, it means to create. Um, three In three occurrences, it mentions the creator. Um, and in one occurrence, it talks about creation. So, um, so in the majority... And then if I want to find out a little bit more information, I, I'm going to double click this here. And Genesis has the second most occurrences of Barat. It has 11 occurrences. Isaiah has 21. That's another feature that if I want to look at grayscale. Um, if I want to look, here's a column chart. Here's the results chart. This tells me where it lies in, in the scope of the Bible. That may be added information you want to, uh, to study. So let's kind of come here. We're going to bara means to create or to create. Let's say I wanted 43 occurrences. In 41 occurrences, it means to create. And the other two. So. Here's the root word, and here are the breakdowns of the root word. So I can double click this, and I'll do similar to what I found before.
So let's go back here for a while and then it'll come up. That's still working. <laughs> All right. Um, means to create. In, in, in the senses, when it means to create, means to bring in existence. So there's our other answer here. So it, it does to pr bring into to existence. So and it's a verb. Um, and it has tw 26 of 41 occurrences are to create to be created it's 10 of 41 so the majority of one is, is to be created so of the verbs that means to be created I wanted to find out say I want to find I, I can look at each one of these and see which one is God being the uh, uh, actor or I can come down here in the grammatical roles and when God is the subject 27 occurrences coming back here so in 27 occurrences God is the one doing the creating um, uh, and the object in our text right here, the object is the earth, world, and earth. Right here. So, um, although, um, so, does it, does bara only refer to divine creation? I, it, it doesn't only because you have looking at some of the features here it, it barad does mean to create but it also means uh to be created um if i was to hear go into here barad means to bring into existence so it doesn't just mean but the majority of to what it means is to bring into existence. When barrage used, it means to bring into existence. Uh, here's something called case ranks. Uh, this is really cool. Um, when the um, the agent is the person or thing that it, it instigates an action or causes change in another person or thing. Uh, the patient, the person or thing that is acted upon. So the one receiving the action. And the one receiving the action is the heavens and the earth. Um, so, um, these are all the features. So you can go through this. You can a answer this. I want you to find, uh, verify each point. So one thing you can do is if I'm looking at this, verify the following statement. One thing I can do is I, I can make this. I go here and right under here this would be my answer is is bara this bara in the Hebrew qual tense say yes don't just answer yes cite me a resource that shows me that this is the qual tense whether that's a screenshot of your Bible word study or something like that always means to create when you hit this I want you to come here and this saying it, it only means to create 
give me your answer here. And I want you to cite resources, show me from the software, maybe a screenshot or something. Um, and so you're verifying the statements and you're able to, to go through. I want you to go to this one, to step two, go into uh, Genesis. So go through all this lab and that's what I want you to do. Have fun. Bye.